Hello guys, and welcome to a new Age of Empires 4 video today by me, Vulcan. Today we're going to be playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. Uh, I've joined Day 2v2 game uh, against Hardest AI, so I can show off some more of the units for you guys. Uh, we actually get docks 50% cheaper, so that's going to work well for the archipelago that we're going to be playing on. We get Advanced Sages in Buildings and Wings in the House of Wisdom, I'll show you guys that in game. We get Golden Age, uh, speed up resource gather rate, I'll show you that in game as well. Uh, infantry units are able to construct rams and siege towers without researching, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there was the one at the top there, which I missed. But either way, we're going to be playing against the Hiranumapa and Chinese Hardest AI. I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't played against the Hardest AI yet. I think the hardest I've played against was hard, um, which you saw in my first video on Age of Empires, again, with the English. So, yeah, we've got a 2v2. And we'll see how this goes. Not sure if my teammate is actually Chinese, but maybe. But yeah, docks being cheap is actually kind of handy. The Holy Roman Empire, though, do get bonuses to their ship fire rate if they put relics in the dock. So hopefully the hardest AI doesn't know how to do that because that would be rather obnoxious to play into. I've no idea what sort of bonuses the Chinese get, but we'll get to see some boats finally, which is cool. I might also just make some walls so I can show you guys how they work because um, putting units on walls is actually really fun. And like it does, I, I'm not sure if it gives them like a range bonus, but I would assume it does. I will make a, a keep and stuff as well. Yep. Yeah, I'll show you guys the ships. The ships do look different. Uh, I think the Holy Empire and the English ships look kind of similar. But the Abbasid and the Chinese, they definitely look different. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go ahead and take out that sheep. Poor thing. Pop that over there as well. Alright, we'll go and explore our island. We actually get three gold. Wow. I'm going to just send those back because the island's pretty small. Maybe we can already see the water here. Uh, we'll go ahead and build a lumber camp. So we've got some like bamboo on the map this time. Probably going to want to get quite a lot of wood going early. We do have a boar over here as well, but I'm, I'm pretty sure... I think the Abbasid Dynasty is the one that can't Still balls. We get berry bushes faster though. So if we build a mill here, they'll, they'll all get like enclosures, which gives us like extra berries. So I'll show you guys. If I put a thing here, you can see that they all get little rings around them. Like wherever this is built, you get like an influence, and it makes the berry bushes better. Oh, I forgot to build a house. Oops. I do need to build a house of wisdom. Uh, I think I'll probably do it over here. And we'll build that way. Actually, I probably shouldn't put it too close to the water. That would be bad. Right, let's get uh, some dudes on gold. So building planning is actually pretty important. So we've got the House of Wisdom. Basically, buildings within the influence gain plus five fire armor. You can expand that influence with adjacent buildings. So that's pretty good. Um, but basically, what you want to do is connect as many buildings to this as possible so that you can get the Golden Age bonuses. So whenever you have 10 structures around it, it gives you like a bonus to resource collection and stuff. It's pretty pretty cool. We should build early because it does help out quite a bit, I believe. Uh, let's just explore the rest of our island. See if we get a relic. Oh, we did get a relic. Nice. I'm not sure relics are as important to the Abbasid Dynasty as they are to other factions. But they still obviously give you a bonus. 
All right, so that's built. So we've got this golden age thing here. So structure count, 4 out of 10 currently. That's connected to it. If we get 10 cut structures connected, that gives us 10% resource of all... or gathering rate plus 10% for all resources, which is really big. Plus 30... or 30 structures plus 15%. For, at plus research speeds as well. And production speeds plus 20% at 60. And 60 generally need to like spam a lot of houses and stuff because you're not usually going to build that many like barracks connected that far up. So there's that. Anyway, um, once we've got enough to tech up, I'll probably just put it all into wood. Go ahead and put that there. We're going to build a wing. Wings are how we level up as the Abbasid Dynasty. It's a bit different to building landmarks. Uh, we can get the economic one, the military, culture, or trade wing. Trade wing's pretty nice for like the gold early on. Um, but each wing basically unlocks different bonuses. So this one in particular reduces the cost to produce villages by 50% in the feudal age. Um, the technology one's quite nice. I think we're going to go for economic wing first because we don't really have an easy way of trading. We can trade with boats, but it's quite risky. Um, speaking of boats, we do need a dock. So let's build one. And we're probably going to build a house as well. And I'm going to connect these. So with that dock built, we're going to have to focus on getting quite a bit of wood. I'm probably going to get all of these dudes to go collect wood. Because when we get wood, we can build fishing boats and then that will allow us to get food from that instead. We're also going to want to get some more stone because I might put these onto stone because then we can probably boom with like triple TC again since we're on an island it should be fine. Let's get a fishing boat out. I think I deleted the fish next to that dock by accident by building the dock on top of it. Build another dock here. I don't know if that will get rid of that. Hopefully not. So now we can do this upgrade, which will help us throughout the game, reduce our food. Um, we're currently 6 out of 10 structure count. If I build like a house in between here, we can connect that and then that will give us another, another 2. So we're currently on 8 out of 10. Probably build that. I think just rushing for fishing boats is a good idea. I think the AI is like scouting with their fishing boats by the looks of things. Might be worth sending my fishing boat to do the same actually. Or I could get like a transport ship to do that. That'd be better. Alright, uh, let's just do this and then I'm going to build this here. Right, we'll get more op to go for that instead because we're just going to put it all of the wood into fishing ships pretty much. Probably the best way to do it. Oh, we're one structure away actually, we should probably just build that. 
I just build like a house here. We can connect it through the influence. Okay. Uh, did we? Did I build that transport ship? Oh, it's currently still building. I could upgrade the specialized pick here and the. I mean, this is definitely going to be important. I don't know how I'm really keeping up with food because I'm not. Oh, I guess obviously fishing ships don't. <laughs> yeah. So let's just make sure we click on that. Fishing ships go in. Uh, did my. Oh my. <laughs> this is my ship <laughs> that I need. I'm gonna put my scout on him. We'll go check out some other lands. Alright, let's go find the enemy. And build a new TC. Alright, so we'll build that there. Then we'll get some more wood or more stone afterwards. I'm going to want to start building some ships, some military ships, it's going to be quite important. Uh, this one, I might as well just build more fishing ships. Oh, what is that? It's like a big cliff, that's cool. Uh, let's just drop off our dude on here then. We'll go see what's up. Uh, looks like it's just an empty island. Quite a lot of gold here, though. Oh, they have uh, a dude here. Right, I'm gonna probably start building some stables. Now, stables in the Abbasid Dynasty, they can build camels, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice, we killed that. Uh, and camels are like pretty powerful. They're like the most powerful units of, of the Abbasid Dynasty. But they're quite expensive. We only played this faction once. Oh, we got a trade port there. Okay, cool. We should probably make some. make a dock here or something. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's go grab our scout. I'm gonna put a dock here. And we'll go explore with our ship here. I'm gonna build some more. I think we can level up again, so we'll go ahead and do that. Are there any bonuses for boats in these? I don't think there is. I think we're going to go for military, because we're probably going to end up fighting someone. Let's get some trade ships going. But as I said before, they're not the most reliable, but it is how it is. Uh, we do pop capped. It's not good. 
Let's do this, and then do this. Actually, I should probably... That's fine. Uh, for now, I can just connect it later. Let's get these back onto the wood. And as you can see here, we've got camel riders. So we need the castle age to build those. Uh, oh, we're being attacked by the Chinese here. So our ships are not that great. <laughs> uh, Leon. Another raid port. Is that it? There's a relic here, actually. Oh, Sacred Sight as well. Okay. Might be an easy way to win with Sacred Sight, actually. I'm attacking my... <laughs> my transport ship. That's rude. It's going to be quite important to win the seas, I think. On an island map, that's for sure. Uh, so what we can do is this. Connect all of these. And that will add towards the Golden Age. Quite fast. Let's go kill these boats. That one's being attacked as well. Alright, let's make some camel riders. We're going to want to garrison this. Well, it looks like it's kind of like out of range. Uh, actually, since we meet, we reached the castle age, let's build the upgraded ones. I think if we go back to our dock, we could probably fight better. Alright, where are my camels? I've got a couple of them. Now oh, they're there. If I can kill that before it unloads, that's, that's pretty good. Nice. Alright, we got our attack ship there. You do get an advantage, obviously, fighting next to your dock like this. Should probably finish that off there. These have to turn sideways. Like it's kind of interesting. I'm kind of getting a bit overwhelmed by this AI though. Uh, I should definitely be building more dudes. And I kind of want to do a third TC. So let's just get them to go do that for us. Over here. Oh, they're destroying my eco. Oh, that's a trade ship. <laughs> okay, uh, these are all chilling. Uh, let's go get some more food over here. Those have built that, they can do that. <laughs> We're gonna have to move island soon, or at least uh, get some more resources set up elsewhere. I uh, probably want to get the technology going. What's this? Increase health of DAOs by 100. Oh, pretty nice.
Right, how many have we got connected now? 25. Alright, so we can connect that. I'm going to want to build that. We're going to build a bunch more of these. And I'm also going to get some archery ranges. Because that'll be handy. And then we can also build a keep. Should probably build a keep first. Get my camels to go help us out. So camels are really good. They're actually really strong. Um, I don't need those upgrades actually. We're gonna go for melee upgrades first. Right, we are sinking a lot of their ships, so that's good. We're at least defending in that regard. Right, let's get the armor on the military ships. Uh, we'll unload these and get them to build these. Actually, let's go ahead and build the keep over here. I just need to build a mosque. Kill those off. Okay. Cool. Get some more villages since a lot of them died. We'll clean up that food. Now we can get a Zebek. Is that our biggest one? Yeah, okay, cool. Increase sight range. Oh, that's pretty handy. Let's grab that. Oh, if we put our ships too close to the shore, they can be attacked uh, by, like, military forces on the ground here. So we don't want that to happen, obviously. We'll go ahead and kill off their units here. I think camels are actually really good against Cav. I need to finish building um, all these archery ranges as well. I'm going to build some stone wall here. Just so we can mess around with that. Uh, these guys are being wrecked. It's great. Don't do too well against archers by looks things. If I build a tower on this, I can then I can't get on it at the moment. But if I build a tower on it like this, I think it will give us a little doorway which we can then get on the wall. Which is really cool. Brought spearmen now. It's not ideal. Spearmen obviously being accounted to Gav. Oh, they're building a town center there and there. Oh my. Okay, uh, that's not good. I might have to get some. I need like just a bunch of docks on the same side. I can just build a load of military and stuff. Uh, where's my dock? There we go. 
So yeah, now we have this here. What we can do is we can actually put units on top of the wall, I think. So he'll go through the little door here. And now I can go up on top of the wall. You can put archers up there and all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool. How did I build a mosque? Mm, can't remember. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just build another one. I think I built one. Oh, I built one there. It's fine. That's a demolition ship. Gotta be careful about those. Alright, uh, let's get these back to repair. Right, we'll get all of these docks to build transport ships. And we're going to build a nice force of camels. We already have a bunch of. Uh, we have these ones. We can also get camel archers. That's another thing we can build. We'll build a load of those. Uh, I'm going to need some food, though. I guess one thing we can do is build some farms. Bunch of people who are chilling, not doing anything right now. All well, my idle villagers. Oh, I've got ten in here. Oops. But we'll let them build farms as well. Saves me having to worry so much about the blooming fishing ships. Alright, let's get these back to the docks. Alright, cool. We'll bring that over here as well. Right, this is my force of camels. I'm going to want probably some siege. Let's go ahead and build those. And I'm going to build a bunch of these. That's quite a lot of stuff over there. Alright. So, the reason I'm building Siege is so I can grab mangonels and trebuchets. Yeah, it might be worth doing like two trebuchets. I should probably also advance to the next stage. I didn't build a market, did I? Well, there's two sacred sites on the island. Hmm. Oh, I'm controlling boot. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, we'll go do that then. Right, let's go mess with that. We'll come over here. If we can take... If they're both on the same side, that's really weird. Uh, we can just control the island and then win. i go fortify it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Alright, um, well we have our trebuchets, so we'll get them on here. Uh, I'll grab my monks. Wherever they went. We'll drop that in there. Thank you very much. And... All right. Let's go attack the navy. Because I feel like the hardest AI is probably going to be like kind of awkward to deal with. All right, we got loads of idols. Oops. 
I did bring some villagers with me, kind of by accident to be honest, but there we go. Alright, we'll go ahead and raid over to this way. And these can all start building a big old wall. silly. <laughs> Alright, so we'll grab some archers and stuff. It's like my castle's actually doing a pretty good job there, killing some shippies. That's great. Look at my navy, this is a baller. Oh, I do have some monks here, we should probably unload those, because they're going to capture the sacred sites for us. And... We need to upgrade, so we'll go for culture. I should also grab these technologies for the camels. Uh, speaking of upgrades for troops, we should also get the blacksmith upgrade. I feel like if there wasn't islands here, we'd probably be pretty screwed. Because I really haven't been playing very well. It's an ass. Uh, how are my dudes doing here? Let's go ahead and build a eight. I need to get these trebuchets inside. Build some stuff there. Uh, let's go get some food from that. Alright, cool. Let's bring these over and we'll destroy that. And what I'm going to do is build another wall. Over here. There we go. Lovely. Big old wall. And now they're going to get nowhere near this. Might put a tower here as well. I do need more stone. Is there stone on this island? I don't think there is. I'm shooting my dock. It's rude. Oh, we have people on our island. Oops. Uh, let's build some camels to go deal with those. He blew up my ships with the demolition barge there. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is build a mosque here, because I can pick up that relic and just put it inside. And... Let's see. We need more of my villages to be building. Oh, that's a big ship. That's a cannon ship. Alright, let's get some of our own big ships out. Cause he's killing, this guy's killing all my docks. I <laughs> think my eco's kind of getting raided <laughs> while I'm not really paying attention. Uh, where's my monk? Let's go capture the... Uh, religious site. So I think once we capture it, we got like five minutes to defend it and then we win or something like that. I haven't won this way yet, so it'd be interesting to do it. I need to make sure I'm actually defending my main island. Uh, we can upgrade to an elite camel rider. We should probably upgrade to veteran camel rider archers as well. I 
That's cool. Oh, can that fire both sides at the same time? Oh, I can. Alright, let's get... Let's see. Keeps heal nearby units. Oh, that's pretty handy. We could use that for the boats as well, I think. Yeah, so we win in... Oh, 10 minutes. Okay. I just need more... When did I build my marker? I need more stone. Because what we can do is just build... Keep here. It's killing mine. Is it deep mind? <laughs> My uh, teammate is just uh, chilling there with his ships. He's not helping my fish. He's not helping my fisherman. It's so rude. Oh, look at these big cannon ships they got going on there. That's trying to land some ships there. I think there's still a bunch of like villagers over here, which we'll just go kill them. Yeah, there we go. Absolute slaughter of men. Actually, killing them here is probably a bad idea because they'll just rebuild them on an, on another island, but they're actually useful. Oh, they killed my keep. Oh shit, <laughs> that's not good. Um, build some bombards. Because we can set them up to fight those ships. It's eight minutes left. I'm gonna build another keep over here. If I can. I'm not sure it'll fit. I'm just doing the middle. And then I'm gonna build a mining camp. I'm gonna get some more gold. Alright, uh, I could actually upgrade this to give myself the ability to convert without using a relic. Yeah, uh, so we can start converting some of these. Uh, but I am currently, my place is burning down. <laughs> Build some docks, please. Glad they're just not bringing them over here. Seven minutes left. I might just uh, pull this as well. Don't think I can. Oh, did my. Oh, my navy got destroyed. Kind of out of wood. Thankfully, we have a big wood line over here. I should probably get a bunch of dudes to go do that. And we need to get more dudes on here. Alright, let's set up some cannons this way. Keep these. <laughs> out of the way for the time being. Okay. I don't know if we can shoot that from here. As good as I hoped they'd be, because they take quite a bit of damage. I'll have to go and repair that. Yeah, 
we get movement speed on camels. Here's the armor of camels. Oh, that's not good. We managed to get a trebuchet on here. Uh, how do we deal with that? Well, hopefully I can just get a few of these out. I might try and get another one lined up here. Maybe we can just kill them all as they come towards us. I'm a bit concerned they'll take down the wall. If they don't, then we're all right. Are we? Didn't we research the thing to... Do the relic? Converting without a relic? Be holding a relic. I mean, we could grab the relic. Don't know if we can use that on... on that. <laughs> oh, it has like a cooldown. We killed a lot of ships doing that. Good. He, they kind of wasted all of my buildings, though. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, let's uh, get these. <laughs> We've got a lot of idols. <laughs> this is the most botched game versus the AI I think I've ever played. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the units while we can. There's a whole reason that I was playing against the AI in the first place. We've got three minutes till we win. Um, so I'll probably build like some of these just to show you guys. Actually, I think we've built all of those before. We can build a culverin, which is normally just kind of made for destroying siege equipment. I'm not sure if that's better against... That might be better against ships than a bombard. Maybe. Uh, the AI doesn't seem to know how to deal with walls very well, which is convenient. Um, let's grab another Zebek. Or two. That's fine. We've got so much wood coming in here. Thank God for that wood line. Because we're not really getting wood elsewhere. I guess we could get wood on here. Once we're done with the mining. Oh, look at our nice shiny camels. They're fully upgraded now, I think. Uh, actually, that's not even elite yet, so we could upgrade that. I don't think it's a good, a good idea to get in range of these with the cauldron, but I mean, it might be alright. Because with the cauldron, it's not packed. So, we're already ready to fire. Mm. Looks like it takes less damage than the bomb bars, but does less damage too. I think the bomb bars definitely do more, but the covenants take way less damage. Right, let's get all of those to work there. I'm just going to build that there and we'll hunt those. Alright, 35 seconds till we win. I think otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> the AI has uh, done a bit better than us. <laughs> I had to kill a lot of ships. Um, yeah, it looks like we managed to hold on. Um, 
I'm just gonna get like the lances out because they do like look different. I don't know how time to build them. Like all of the archers and stuff, they all look slightly different in each of the factions. But the main thing with these guys is they build camels, and camels can like inspire units nearby them. I think there's a ability for it, but either way, there we go. That's how we win with the <laughs> sacred sites. Bit of a bit of a derp there from the AI, but still a work in progress, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Happy with that. I'll take the win. It was a bit of a mess. <laughs> I think if we were playing that without islands, it probably would have gone a lot worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see my timeline was pretty, pretty awful. There was a moment there where the AI was really wrecking my economy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we killed quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, we killed 189 ships. Well, ships and men did the most in military, that's for sure. Went terribly far behind in uh, economy, actually, compared to the AI. We had more food, less gold. The thing is, what, when they took over those other islands, that definitely gave them like the gold advantage. <laughs> There's like three massive gold mines there. Um, not that it really made a difference in the end, but yeah, we'll take the win. I quite like this faction. I think it's quite unique with like the one building that you upgrade that unlocks like specific upgrades for like the camels and stuff. You can make camels like super strong. Like you can get the I think the cavalry upgrades for them and then also like the unique camel upgrades for them as well. So it's like really, really good. Um Yeah. They can get a lot of armor, a lot of health. Because you can get like plus 20% health, I think, as well. Um, I mean, the camels are great. I'm not sure what you would build them with. I think the idea of the faction is to build them with uh, like other sort of like infantry. I guess you don't really need anti cav because I think camels are good against cavalry. So you'd probably want something that's good against like archers, which would be like crossbows, maybe. I don't know what's good against archers. Um, or just like chaff, like just loads of spearmen or something like that. Don't know. Anyway. That was that was good fun. <laughs> I managed to defeat the hardest AI. Uh in quite a cheesy manner. Uh we will probably I think maybe I'll do this again, or maybe I'll try like a team game for the last one. I kinda wanna keep switching it up between these videos. I think I'll do a team game. Uh, where I try out the last faction, which is the Chinese, in the technical stress test. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments. Um, and thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.